What's up y'all tapeworm welcome to the channel live and direct from the approach trail at Anna McCole Anna McCola Falls got eight and a half miles to get to Springer Mountain beautiful bluebird day Woo! Georgia to Maine 2,193 ish miles everything works out as planned I'm gonna go an extra few hundred miles to the Canadian border and hit the knife edge beyond Katahdin and again if everything works out well I'll hop on the PCT hike that again go southbound from Canada all the way down to Mexico where I started this journey two years ago, 2020, northbound on the PCT. <sighs> Still really hasn't hit me. It's kind of surreal being out on the East Coast. Never been out here from California. But I'm pumped to meet uh, the great community I've heard so much about here on the Appalachian Trail. And can't wait to get up and over these steep, Graded climbs up and down all the way to Maine. Let's go. It was pretty funny I had some old man with a backpack towering over his head he goes you running it I go running the main no I'm hiking it he goes we sure look like it I go, you kind of look like you're going camping Rest in peace, my dude. What is up, y'all? I am almost done with the approach trail. Started at 11.20, and it is a little after two now. And I'm gonna stop there, take a little break. I've already seen 17 hikers, so it's quite busy. But the trail is extremely groomed, lovely weather. And I'm on California time, so back home it's like, what, 11, 12? 
So I'll probably end up hiking for another five, six hours. We'll see how far I get tonight. Thank you for all the support. If you have not subscribed yet, hit the red button, hit the notification bell. I'll just say this once. I don't really like to push it, but uh, so far, great energy. The community is great out here and I am looking forward to a wet trail to Mount Katahdin. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm happy to be back on trail. Made it to Springer Mountain. And I'm gonna go grab some water at, uh, I believe it's Hawk Mountain Shelter. It is surreal to be here. I never thought I'd be hiking the AT, to be honest. I've hiked a lot of the Southwest and West Coast, um, including the PCT, AZT, and the CDT. And I guess I've just grown up. I used to be picky about all the fear mongering. I used to hear about the Appalachian Trail. And at this point, I'm just happy to be out here. I never really hiked for views anyways. It's, more of the community and the ultimate freedom we have out here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take a safety meeting, of course, and get trucking down the trail. Peace. Gotta get on the Albanese. If you haven't had them, get them. All right, got the tracking going. Let me get that pier, continuous footpath. And I'm just gonna go take a break at Hawk Mountain Shelter. Stay tuned. Cut him up. I'm smacking down some Ross Bam. Charge my shit. And keep on going. Pretty nice shelter. All right, first white blaze. The blazes are popping up. So I am a little over eight miles in. And I checked out Hawk Mountain Shelter. A few groups of people with dogs showed up. They were all setting up their stuff. And uh, I could have taken advantage and slept there, but my body's still adjusting to East Coast time from the West Coast. So I have plenty of energy at the moment. I probably wouldn't go to sleep for a very long time. So I'm going to maybe push to Woody Gap. We'll see how far, excuse me, how close I get to Woody Gap. I'll back. past the junction for Benton Mackay Trail. Got some buddies uh, hiking from Key West on the ECT, the Eastern Continental Divide Trail. And they will be linking up at that junction to the AT. Pretty cool shit.
Yo, 10.8 in and it is 441. So I'm going to probably hike till uh, nine o'clock. So like six o'clock West Coast time. And um, feeling good. I'm not feeling any pains or sores or what have you. I think I'm pretty conditioned from my previous hikes and work. So I will uh, holla back at y'all. Thank you for watching. Some good old ramen and I love these fucking meat packets. Pretty damn cheap. 130 calories. Can't go wrong. What's up? It is 6.30 and I am roughly 14, 15 miles in. <clears throat> I'm about two miles away from Hawk Mountain Shelter. Excuse my French, I guess uh, that was, should have known, Springer Mountain Shelter right there after the monument. So I'm gonna push another two and a half hours and see how far or close I can get to Woody Gap. And uh, it's funny since I've been hiking after three o'clock. I haven't passed or seen one single hiker other than those that are in their tent. It seems like a lot of people, you know, hike their, uh, hike their own hike and set up shelter quite early, quite earlier than I'm used to, but it's been nice, it's been peaceful uh, in the sense that it seems like I got the trail to myself. <laughs> So I will keep y'all in tune. Thank you for watching. I'm sure you guys can't see, but it's seven o'clock. Did uh, 16, 17 miles. Pulled out my headlamp. And I guess it was on for God knows how long. So I'm just gonna set up shelter here. And I was hoping someone would have a fire going. It's actually not cold, but uh, I will holler back at you guys in the morning. Keep 